To make the lights for our police car, we have to come to a place like this. An emergency warning lights factory. Before emergency warning lights are made, they have to be designed using a computer program. Once the computer has the right design, it creates a list of parts needed to make the lights. And that gets sent to this, an electronic handset. And on the screen, it tells us where they're kept in this massive storeroom. So, what do we need? We need lots of little lights called LED lights. And these do all of the flashing. And then we need a circuit board. And a circuit board controls when and how often the lights flash. And to connect the lights to the circuit board, we need lots of colourful cables. And then we're going to need some of these. These are called lenses. They act a little bit like a lid for the lights. And finally, to put everything together, we need lots and lots of screws. First, the base is cut out from a sheet of metal called aluminium. This is then put with all of the parts onto a mini tray until it reaches the workstation. And this is where the emergency warning light is put together. And this is Mick. He's going to be making one for us today. First, Mick gets the base ready and starts to assemble the parts. Next, Mick screws all of the LED flashing lights into the right place using something called a pneumatic screwdriver. <laughs> Can you hear the sound of the pneumatic screwdriver? What do you think it sounds like? <laughs> I think it sounds angry. <laughs> it's time for Mick to wire all the LED lights, but there is a lot of wiring to be done and it can take a long time. So I'm going to use my special camera to film something called a time lapse. And that means when we watch this back, we can see things happening a lot quicker. different cables to put in. I think they look a bit like colourful spaghetti. Wasn't that brilliant? Now all the cables are in place, it's time to plug in the circuit boards. A circuit board is like a mini computer and it sends a message to the LED lights to tell them when to flash and they're connected <coughs> by these wires. <coughs> Mick has given me special permission to help him plug one of the wires in. We're nearly finished. Just need to put the lenses on the top, like a lid. Last workstation is really important because it's where the emergency warning lights are tested to make sure they're working properly. Ready, Mick? Here we go. Look, they're working. Oh, they look great, don't they? What colours can you see? There's blue. Red. And white. Thank you. Right, let's get this fixed onto the top of our police car. The lights have to be screwed in place and then wired into the police car's electrics. In total, it takes about seven hours. And there you have it, a finished police car with brand new emergency warning lights. And I've got special permission to switch them on. Wow, looks like everything's working properly. Don't they look brilliant?